It's going to be a long night. We, we got Sheldon Thompson. It's going to be a good night, though. It's going to be a Sheldon, good night. Sheldon, grab a microphone over here, Sheldon. Come on. I, I know you like to talk to everybody. We don't need you to get a position. Get the microphone in one of the pack. What, somebody from else the from the pack. Thing. Somebody from the pack, uh, uh, get, get, uh, get, uh, get a, get a microphone Cunley. over here. Ryan Conley. Ryan Conley, come grab a mic. Ryan Conley, come grab a mic, please. Go have a seat over there with Josh. And it, it, it should reach Josh. Yeah, it's not going to take you all the way back to your table there. Uh, well, you know, it, it, y'all be all right. Y'all be all right. So, it, you know, when you guys, you know, you got the pack in, you got the Mustangs in. Mustangs, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk to Sheldon first. First year organization. How special is this for you guys right now? Um, even representing Houston, the Houston chapter, which, you know, obviously Houston's got the majority of teams that are in for championships. Um, and I hear the big thing push about Houston sweep, Houston sweep, which is not going to happen. Damn. <laughs> Make sure you push the button up. <laughs> it's on. Can okay. you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So it, it's not going to happen. Do you know why? Why is that? Because there is no Houston team in Division One flag championship game. That's right. Damn. So there cannot be a Houston sweep. Renegades let us down. <laughs> that was our hope. That was our hope. That was our Houston hope. I ain't going to lie to you. Our last gas for air, huh? Don't think I wasn't paying attention to that all weekend last weekend. Damn, <laughs> damn, damn. And the Tigers. That was our hope yeah. on the other side. Yeah, was, yeah. They, yeah. I mean, they beat our best. Those yeah. were two yeah. our clear favorites for D1, and they, got, they took the L. But I will tell you this. That Venom team is a good flag football team. It, it is. Team. Yes, they are. Man. Very good team. And one thing I noticed that probably a lot of people didn't notice is that they are coached by young coaches. Yes. And you can see that the young coaches relate to the kids very well. They was having fun. The coaches as well that the kids was having fun. When you're having fun doing what you're doing and the kids are having fun and they see the coaches are having fun, there's nothing that they won't do. There's, there's nothing that you can't teach them not to do when you get them to buy into your personality. And that's what you've seen because at halftime they made a major adjustment, a major adjustment, you know what I'm saying? And it just it blew the game open. Well, I mean, and it's not like they're new to this. I mean, JYS at Venom were in the mix last year for a championship and fell short. And they got a majority of those kids back on that flag squad. So you knew they were going to come hard and strong. And they did. They really did. I mean, you look yeah. at their scores uh, throughout the season. 36-0 over the Judson Junior Rockets. 47-6 over the Predators. 46-0 over the Giants. 50-piece the Tri-County Titans. 50-piece the Junior Barons. 50-piece the Junior Broncos. 47-6 over the Junior Jaguars. 53-0 to zero over the Flores yeah, Wildcats. Up. And these are not teams that are just pushed away. These are some quality Flag teams out of San Antonio, right, right, they and then are, they come in the playoffs and, and do the same thing. Man, they are they are great. They are great flag football team, Kenny. So I mean, it, it it's really looking good. Of course, you got the Clean Coat Chiefs, and the Clean Coat Chiefs have done an excellent job coming into Division One. Um, they got two or three into the playoffs. Unfortunately, the two fell off. The flag is the only one that lasted. Right. Uh, so that's going to be a fantastic game. But they did, like you say, coming from D two to D one, they had. A couple of levels that went far in the playoffs, but right. to have one in coming it's, from D, that's you a have challenge. people that's been in D one ever yeah. since they've been in Typha and have never made it to the state championship. So to have a team in, you know what I'm saying? That's a great accomplishment. And I talked to some of the teams that did lose during the semifinals, and of course, you know the kids are upset. You see them coming off the field; they're crying, they're help, they're hanging their heads down. Uh, coaches are hugging them; they're trying to you know console them. I get the kids grouped together, and I tell them, I said, "Look, you have got nothing." to hang your head about. You need to hold your head up high. How many teams in Typha that you played against and didn't play against are sitting at home right now listening to Typha radio to this game because they ain't on the field playing? That's true. Yeah. And you missed some good football this weekend, too. I don't know where you was at, I but was you should have been at C.E. King. I was in San Antonio. Well, no one asked me to go to C.E. King. Well, they, they no, no, one, no one asked. No one asked. It's been silence here in Houston for me this season. <laughs> silence. The, the Cy- Cypress Mustangs. Only one that called me up. Well, Kenny, you know, people used to be kind of mad at you. You be making them, you be making them, 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 them messed up predictions, man. You know, you, <laughs> the messed up predictions. Is that what it is? <laughs> you know, <laughs> messed up predictions. You're actually, all right with me, though. Actually, You're all right with me, though. And actually, when I crunch the numbers, I'm actually about 78% correct. Really? Uh, That's good. Yes. That's, hey, uh, man. 
And, and that's that, yeah. Do I miss something? Hey, yes. If, if I was a bad man, I'm gonna call you. Hey, there you go. You there know. you go. Back to Sheldon real quick. Sheldon, first year organization, uh, several levels. You know, you had at one point you had all levels. Okay. Um, fantastic season for you guys. How special is this for the Cypress Mustangs right now? Well, like I said, being a first year organization, uh, a lot went into the uh, the season. For them to make the decision to actually have a team, have, you know, have an organization, it was late. I mean, they said late June, early July, you know. Yeah, it just all they, of a sudden they, they it just sparked it on, up. Kind of like you put it on Facebook and all of a sudden there was, you know, a, a load of people sitting in the parking lot. And, <laughs> and they just said, let's go with it. And I was like, all right, I, I see what y'all trying to do. Next thing you know it, you know the season what it was. You know, like I say. <clears throat> Shout out to all the, the people that put it together. It wasn't easy. Um, a lot of trust, and and everything else speaks for itself. You know, uh, like I said, we won a lot of games, um, but like I said, there was a lot of teaching going on too. And like I said there was mistakes made, but at the end of the day, you know, everybody pulled together and, and, and stayed together and, and kept pushing forward. So it was a great season, though. Great season. And like I said, we're still going. We got two levels in the championship with the flag. And the uh, rookies, and uh, like I say, looking to bring that uh, those trophies home. But like I say, as an organization itself, very pleased, very pleased. How excited are the kids right now? I mean, when when you guys won the semifinals, you knew you're going to the championship. And it, at the moment, yeah, you, everybody's celebrating. Everybody's real happy. You know, today's Wednesday. You guys have probably had some practice already. Mm-hmm. What's what's the buzz? What's the feel for the kids right now as they're practicing, getting ready to go to San Antonio? It's a business trip. I mean, it's what, that's what the, the, the thing we've been talking about all year long. It's a business trip. I mean, yeah, you're going to hear everybody saying, oh, yeah, y'all the favorites. Oh, y'all, you know, y'all should blow them out. And, you know, no one's ever scoring. Y'all got the defense and offense. That's all fine one good. But at any given day, man, you can be beat being complacent, thinking that just because you rolled your helmet out there, people are going to just lay down. No, no pun intended. But uh, <laughs> 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 I'm sure we get back to that later on. But uh, at the same time, man, you know, like I say, you, you gotta you gotta earn your you know you gotta earn your stripes every week. Cause like I say, those teams got there too, and so if you take them for granted, if you want to, you know, you mess around and uh and be the favorite on the, on the on the wrong end of that you know that scoreboard. So it's business as usual. You know, practice didn't change anything. Just getting just getting ready for the next next game, and you know, we want to we'll see what happens. When we break down your first game, you, your flag team's playing against the Pflugerville Hawks. Now, Pflugerville Hawks have a history. They have a history of being a low seed team, particularly in flag, and they've done it again. And here they are in the championship game. When you when you look at your flag kids you, and you start seeing that history, how how uncomfortable do you get looking at that game? You don't get uncomfortable. Like, everything you've done in the past, that's the past. It's what you do this year. What you did in the first game of season, that's the first game of season. Both teams earned the right to get there. Kids are the same age. They're going to line it up. We're going to line it up. At the end of the day, we'll see what happens. But all the stuff in the past, that's cool. But like I said, I've seen a lot of teams with a lot of tradition who've done it over and over again go down all because they got complacent. So I'm sure they're going to have their kids ready. We're going to have our kids ready. And uh, like I say, no one thought we were going to be there. So at the end of the day, let's see what happens. I know the game that I'm really interested to watch is your rookie game against the San Antonio Junior Hurricanes. Uh, that is a ni- I got a chance to see them for the first time uh, during semifinals. That is a nice squad they've got over there. Have you guys managed to got, get it? Kenny? Huh? What they got over there? What they got? They have, they have got a good mix of power and speed um, with, the hur- with the Hurricanes. I was really surprised. I mean, I've seen their scores and I had a chance to, had a chance to see them. And I heard a lot of things, but when I finally got to see the product they put on that field, wow, uh, they, 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 they put on a good game. Could they play in D1? I believe that squad could, yes. I, as an organization, I don't know. Because I know they can play in D1. Uh, oh, they could the play in D1. Mustangs can play this, in D1. This, in a sense, is a second rookie D1 preview right. is what I'm looking at. between Because I've seen the Mustangs uh, several times now. Um, and to see the Hurricanes, this is going to be a fa- – I'm excited for this game. Have you guys had a chance to get any kind of film or hear anything about these guys? I haven't had a chance to see them. You know, like I say, we've been real busy. Like I say, we, we try to, but like I said, at the end of the day, you know, we're going to go where we go with, and uh, I'm sure we'll make all the adjustments during the game, but I haven't, we haven't seen anything. 
All right. Well, good luck. I mean, you guys, uh, it's always fun just to get there. Uh, but, of course, you, like you said, it's a business trip, and you still got some business to take care of. Yep, got all right. it's all business. So we'll give you a hand. Congratulations to Cypress Mustangs. Congratulations, Cypress Mustangs. Hey, man, congratulations to Cypress Mustangs. Why are you just man, sitting there like that, man? Clapping, man. Yeah. Yeah. Cost what, nobody what, said nothing what, about the what? pack. This man, if you ain't talking hey, about the pack, man, right. this man, he'll be Man, I don't celebrate kidding. going to the championship. I want to win. Well, I you got to cheer the people on, man. They made it, He's man. not even in your division. Come on. Come on, man. man. I nah, I know when they go into D1, they come after you. Hey, when they ain't got, to go, got nothing to do with go you, I'm gonna go after them, <laughs> and they ain't got to come to D one. <laughs> now you all seen that movie Candyman, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I've seen that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we got the pack junior coach over here. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to talk, talk to the pack. In fact, is there a way we can just turn his microphone off and just just <laughs> leave him alone for right now? North Houston Panthers, better known as the Pack, it was a Ray, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Conley. yeah, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan Conley. Ryan Conley. Uh, again, congratulations to you guys. I mean, dude, how, Ryan, how many? I was at the game Saturday. Again, just put your microphone down. The dude for the what's what team? The Hurricanes. Yeah. Dude in the chat box said y'all lying. Y'all was at the game Saturday. I wasn't there, so I don't know what he talked. I said I would. I didn't see nothing. I wasn't there. <laughs> but it's go, all good. Go ahead. Kenny. Go ahead. All right, so y'all were at our field too, so don't 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 play like you were innocent. Congratulations, three three units in. You know, I think let me pull that up real quick so I can look at these, make sure I get this right. You got the uh, your tikes, you got your rookies, and you got your juniors in the, in in the mix in the championships. Um, not many organizations have done that. Uh, so congratulations to you guys. Um, how, again, the, same question. How excited, you know, unlike him, how excited are, are the, is the pack right now? How excited, particularly the kids? I like the kids. Well, the, the kids is, uh, of course, everybody excited. You always excited to win. But, I mean, the main thing was, I mean, that was always the plan. At, at bare minimum, we wanted to get three in. That was the plan from the beginning. You know, we knew we had some challenges, with, you know, on the flag level. But they still was able to make a push and, and make the playoffs. So we we got all five in the playoffs, but mm-hmm. the minimum was three in the state championship. That was always the goal. Right. And, again, I mean, even to get all five just in playoff position is just remarkable. I'd uh, be able to do that. And I, and I joke with James Boutet. He sends me messages every once in a while talking about how we, we going five deep. We going five deep. And I, t- I shake my head and I, I tell him, I said, just, just stop. Just stop. You'd be lucky you get one is what I tell him. But, you know, again, it, it's always a great feat to do something like that. Uh, when you look at your games, like what, what level are you coaching? I coach with the junior level. Okay, so you've got a huge game coming up. Yes, um, yes. There is no denying the Judson Junior Rockets are the real deal. What, what have you seen that you guys are preparing for with this game? I mean, we, 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 we preparing for the game just like any other game. So. It, it, it ain't, it's not a... Just because it's the Rockets, we ain't preparing no different. We, we, we come to play just like they come to play. So one of the things I could tell you about, about the Rockets, they did – I'm not sure if he's going to be able to play or not, but they did lose their big uh, wide receiver. Um, Dashnia uh, went down with a major knee, knee injury during that game in semifinals. So that's going to change really? how things work for them as he was a big, big threat. Not just on, uh, on the fly, but also on post plays. Very good hands. Could catch the ball in traffic or on the run. And, I mean, he was like a yeah, he killed us. He's like a Hoover vacuum yeah, he killed, he killed the with his hands. Days. He went down with a major knee injury. He was out what the whole second half. That's number the big 22. receiver. Oh, number he 22. A, oh, he's a dog. Yeah, he killed the Renegades. So that could be a change in, in their game plan offensively. Uh, but de- defensively, uh, they're very solid. Um, what are you guys? What are you guys prepared to do? You know, when it comes to that defense. I mean, have yeah, you seen yeah, any hold film? On, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You you talking about them like they can't be beat? Oh no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm I'm just I'm just describing. Like, what, what are you gonna do? <laughs> we, hey, say, it. say, it. listen to me, listen, 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 listen. Panic mode or something. Say. We coming to play football, man. Plain and simple. It don't matter who it is. We coming to play football. The same way they you saying they, they got to come play us too. It ain't no slouch on the other side of the ball. 
I mean, I know you more in tune with that area, but nah, they, it's gonna be a ball game. Believe that. Oh, see, there it was. I knew it was coming. See, it, it's it's, it's <laughs> like good. it's like fishing, you know. Yeah, I, hey, I got that lure out there. Hey, he he <laughs> name dropping and you know. <laughs> 